my dear Capricorn, this is a love reading for you where the person most on your mind will have their true thoughts and feelings revealed by me, Queen of Cups Tarot. We'll also look into what they would tell you if they had the guts or respect to tell you the truth with my new deck, the Brutally Honest Oracle Cards. And in the end of this video, you will get a sneak peek of a members only Q&A video, so stick around for that. And this reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Capricorn, this will be a reading what, uh, about what the person most on your mind are feeling for you and where their thoughts are at when it comes to you. It can often be a conflict between head and heart and this will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. I will also reveal what they would tell you if they dare to tell you the truth to your face. For a cross watcher, this reading will most likely be about where the Capricorn's person thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you yourself can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. Now we'll use the Anima Mundi uh, Tarot for the readings part and the uh, Brutally Honest cards for the um, truth-telling part. I will never come back and inside me I scream your name. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> they have... Uh, problems with themselves there okay so uh, I will start shuffling your deck here the Anima Mundi and uh, I see the ten of cups with the seven of cups so they are a little bit confused it's much what we saw I will never come back inside me I scream your name um, so uh, this kind of love is is not something that you can just you know brush away it's um, not a person that you will forget. It can take decades. It can take the rest of your life if you try to end a relationship with that person. Uh, we can also become friends for life if we end the relationship. And uh, with the Seven of uh, Cups here, it's probably that they have some kind of impossible dream about love. Or it's um, um, they think that they will get... Uh, together with a supermodel and they will live in a beautiful house like a 10-story mansion I'm just exaggerating here <laughs> and uh, um, so they have this um, uh, naive kind of plan for their life and reality doesn't really fit uh, so therefore they they're living in this dream world and um, they're forgetting about honoring the reality of what they really have uh, like in front of them already so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the five of cups together with the seven of cups. So some kind of happening might have um, added to the confusion. Uh, maybe you had uh, a dream together uh, that didn't come true. We can see this is uh, like a miscarriage. But the miscarriage, if we dream about babies and miscarriage, it, it has to do with the things we dream of, the things we want for our lives, new projects, uh, um, things we'll f we think will make us happy. So for example, a new job opportunity or um, creating something for yourself, uh, following a dream. Uh, but here the dream went into, it's like spilled milk and it added to the confusion for this person. So not only didn't uh, maybe their relationship with you, um, fit their childhood dream about the prince and the princess uh, but also something happened between you that made them disappointed so it's two things now speaking against your relationship from their uh, maybe a little bit childish point of view so or taking for granted point of view uh, I call uh, the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the Ace of Swords with the Seven of Cups. So they are trying to figure out uh, what they really feel. And it might be that they had to have some kind of crude awakening. Uh, to You don't miss the cow until the, you know, the barn is empty. So that kind of op like opportunity that the Divine gave them to finally realize what they were feeling. 
So six elements and here we have the four of coins with the seven of cups. So they're still not going to tell you. Um, <laughs> uh, op op opportunist, like a person that wants to uh, get on top. They want to be smarter than everyone else, but they are not because uh, their emotions are kind of screwing them up. <laughs> so they are not able to be uh, take that smart high road. <laughs> oh, poor four things so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear capricorn viewers building bridges so i want my dear capricorn to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships Ew. um oh it's the classical uh, they are lying and enjoying the other person uh, opening their heart to them while they can stay behind uh, the armor, the helmet, the shield with their sword and also lying on top of that. So, yeah, making oneself very, very secure in life while kind of throwing other, other people underneath the bus. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, but this is a simple way to not let that happen to you. It's just, uh, you know, don't go along with it. <laughs> it's very easy. Um, if someone doesn't make an effort, we don't make the effort. So that's how they learn. So I will just tune in for a few seconds here to you and your situation with the person here most on their mind. What are they thinking about you and the relationship? Where are their feelings at? Uh, their love for you? And um, also the most likely action that it will take when it comes to you and your relationship. Uh, so. Okay, this will be uh, their most likely action. And this will be uh, their feelings and their love. And this is their thoughts. And we have the devil. So they recognize themselves that um, they're a little bit of a screw up. And it's not much self-love here when we look into uh, their little head. Uh, so um, the worst thing with people that doesn't love themselves and doesn't support themselves is that they continue screwing up because that's what they do. Uh, it's first when this person can take a decision that, okay, I'm good. I'm, an, I'm a good person. Uh, I always do my best and uh, I love myself. That's when they can start to take more healthy decisions. When they are like this, it's um, uh, it's a little bit problematic to make any big changes. And this is their love for you and the feelings. And we have the lovers here. Uh, so um, I'm feeling the kind of an eternal love that we also saw with the Ten of Cups. It's not something that's easily brushed away. Um, that's uh, bad news for you, I guess, uh, being... Uh, shackled with a shame to this <laughs> person uh, a shackle of of love okay so if you feel the same that is and uh, but probably you do because this is the person most on your mind and here we have the most likely actions and we have the king of swords uh, so um hmm. uh, i have already forgotten oh, the devil so this is like a bad police <laughs> you know when you get into the police car and uh, they will beat you up in a dark back alley. <laughs> so we can't really trust uh, this person fully. But uh, I'm thinking it's a person that has good intentions, but because they have a dark shadow uh, behind them, they are uh, doing stupid things. Okay, so they're not as smart as they think. And... Uh, we start here with their thoughts and we have a six of wands uh, the six is connected to the devil's card in this case it's the 15 one plus five the devil is six we also have the lovers here six so both this the devil card the lovers card and the six of wands are connected uh, but it shows a very masculine way to approach a love situation trying to be a hero trying to be a problem solver uh, trying to maybe look good and getting praise for one's efforts. So, for example, honey, I did the dishes today and you're supposed to, you know, 
make a slow clap <laughs> as they were six years old, uh, six with the six of wands here. Uh, so that's uh, the kind of energy I'm feeling uh, that the person is really trying to do their best and they have a plan for how to do the best they can. But from your point of view, it won't be that impressive. So that's how I feel. And uh, the next is the Sun card. So this is a little bit better because this is Leo in Jupiter. And here we have the Sun instead of the Shadow. So this gives me a lot of hope because this means that the person is really, really, really trying. And um, they are really doing the best they can. So, um, and this is actually a little bit self-love, even if it comes with this little bit hollow a kind of self-image that you need to have something on the ex outside, like your exterior that's telling you that you are good, like a good job or a nice car or a great hair or something like that. Uh, so it's a little bit hollow and, and can be on the borderline to a little narcissistic because the sun, you know, everything revolves around the sun. But, you know, the person is trying the best they can. Their soul is really trying to enlighten this uh, little animated body the best it can. Uh, so, um, whatever happens now, it's not their fault, so you know, because that's what they want to tell you. Four of coins, hmm, is this their, their pride or their, they have this, every time they do try to do something great, they, they fall back onto, onto this self-preservation, they have really great survival skills, and it always comes back to that, so they are trying to be they, their hero, your hero, but their reflexes. Um, if we, let's say that um, uh, you are in this police car with this shady police and both you and your uh, partner has been, you know, thrown in the back seat, and there's a really dangerous situation and your partner runs. OK, they leave you in the police car there with this dodgy police, <laughs> which is their shadow, by the way. And um, hmm. uh, so that's their reflexes. Uh, OK. And then we have the Ace of Cups, but they do love you. <laughs> I don't know if you can love this person back because you will be constantly disappointed on them and their behavior because their reflux, uh, reflexes or their, you know, their um, reptile kind of brain will always, always betray them and, and show to you that they are not uh, like really putting you first or at least not even, you know, equal here. And then we have a page of pentacles. So this is them trying again, trying so hard. And so I don't really see them having a plan. I'm thinking they are full of, um, I'm seeing these flashes of light. So I'm thinking someone that walks on the red carpet and getting a lot of attention. They are full of this, trying to get attention from people. And uh, they want to do this heroic stuff. But when the camera is off, they are doing the running stuff or maybe throwing you in front of the shooter stuff. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's just because they are in the brink between uh, evolving from um, like um, their animal, um, like their animalistic cortex <laughs> to uh, a, a more... Um, um, a soul, you know, a developed soul or a human being that can put other people's interest in front of their own because they can, uh, they, they have uh, this higher brain that can uh, shoot in front of the, the more primordial part of their brain and say, hey, this is not how we behave. So for example, I can take an easy example. Everyone is in the bottom line, uh, a racist, okay, because your brain is like that. Because in the past, it was dangerous with strangers. So if you saw an animal or another person that looked very different uh, to you, you were programmed to feel that this is an enemy. Because this was how uh, the animalistic part of you, it's how your body survived um, to see uh, strangers as enemies. So your brain will do that every time you see someone that's not uh, looking like you are used to. And um, but your brain, uh, if you are uh, developed, can uh, kind of cut through that and say, uh, OK, so that's my brain. Uh, but I still think every person should be equal. And I think this person is just like me. It's just me getting scared because of my reflexes. 
and that is what this person needs to develop here but they are almost like like this hillbilly you know living far out <laughs> on the countryside maybe a little bit inbred also <laughs> so they haven't really made this quantum leap of evolution um, and um, uh, so they are jumping into conclusions and this is their problem that they are jumping into conclusion but they want to do better they want to be a good person and their body like how their body is constructed says nothing about their soul they can be born this hillbilly here but still being an ascended master in their soul okay it's just different bodies have different um, capacity to hold uh, the whole part of the soul and all its um, kind of wisdom so uh, this person is trying for for wisdom and, and trying to uh, be a better person that wouldn't throw you under the bus as a reflex <laughs> so that's good news I guess <laughs> but it's um, it feels very precarious okay and uh, this is um, their feelings and we have the ace of swords with the lovers here it's winning and we have winning here as well so they have this um, this idea maybe like a, a knight in shining armor that they want to be a good person for you but this card has the other side of the coin as well you know survival uh, so they are flipping between these two extremes, trying to be your hero, not being a hero at all, trying to be your hero, not being a hero at all. And um, this is problematic, but in their heart, like to feel good about themselves, they would want to be your hero. Uh, so at least that's, they want to protect you. So they might say stupid things like that, that you know I would protect you, and they would, um, you know, prove to you in every different situation that they are not. <laughs> but is because they have this big fat shadow and, and their soul has a little bit trouble with getting through and, and really heightening the frequencies of this body because that's why uh, evolved soul go down in really dense, um, um, dense groups or bodies because they want to help that line of uh, people or that population line to grow. But it doesn't mean that they are able to do a good job. They just try. And here we have the high priestess. So here comes something really great and it comes through the sun. So this is real wisdom and it's wisdom coming. So I'm thinking evolution is coming to this person. They are really trying. They are doing the best they can. They are fighting their reflexes. Uh, so this is their soul really coming through here. And it's coming to, to their heart, through their intuition. So I'm thinking in their heart they're kind of wise but... Uh, their survival skill kind of take the upper hand sometimes with ruling their um, their actions and behaviors. And here we have the hero font. So this is again them wanting to be the provider, your hero. They want to be there for you. They want to be loyal with you. Uh, and they think maybe they can include you in their tribe. You know, they can be the one collecting um, stuff, money, uh, piles of, uh, I don't know, nuts as a, um, <laughs> a squirrel uh, for you as well. So they can include you in, 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 in their tribe. They would be, still be, uh, you know, having these reflexes against strangers, but at least with you, they would be able to be loyal. Uh, so if, that, if they could include you as being a part of their tribe, because uh, that's how you can also fool the uh, these um, old reptile parts of your brain because your progeny progeny and your family they are as important as you usually uh, at least your ch children have 50 percent of your dna and the dna here is trying to survive uh, so including you in their tribe can make their reflexes change <laughs> so that they will actually protect you Okay, and then we have the hangman. So this is the question of the evolution. Will it happen? Won't it happen? Can it happen? But it says that love will push it as far as close to the edge. Uh, so they just need like a final push to be able to make this leap of um, this quantum leap of evolution here. But it's a little bit procrastination or uh, it's not really, you know, the big, big... Um, drums and hallelujah moment it's more like oh maybe they will make it maybe not we don't know um, but this is destined to happen we just don't know when and then we have a four of wands so four of wands is marriage and this is uh, uh, also marriage <laughs> but you have the hangman in between 
um, with a lot of disappointments I feel where you will feel is this really the best choice for me to be with this person they are total screw up but I know they love me but this the latest thing they did <laughs> it's not making me happy uh, but this person would offer a um, committed love relationship to you from the best of their uh, knowledge from their heart at least and their head wants to give you something equal as well we see how it is with their uh, actual action and the action here comes a lot of the reflexes into the story as well they can have the best intentions and then do something you know stupid yeah seven of swords so here here it's when it becomes stupid because winning winning and winning with manipulation or uh, sh you know shady behavior lies uh, so they want you to see them as a good person so when you caught them with having done something that was not good they will lie 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 and if they get you know well out of that with the lie intact they will congratulate themselves and feel like they won uh, it's um, it's an interesting uh, energy and it's um, very childish it's like what children do um, they they do stupid things they don't want to have um, uh, the consequences of this from their parents telling them nagging off on them about this is not how we do things in this family yada yada and they don't want to hear it so they want to continue doing those stupid things and still look good in your eyes <laughs> uh, but it's what it is uh, uh, what I'm seeing here is actually, uh, I'm seeing a, a situation from a friend of mine that was actually a Capricorn and she had um, a, a partner that lied about small stupid things like, yes, I did water the plants, but they were totally dry or um, uh, they could also say, no, I have never watched this movie. And then they say something and you realize that they have watched this movie before. A lot of small stupid lies that made... Uh, my Capricorn friend really not trust this person and it was totally unnecessary lies because if they would just have told no I forgot uh, they would just hear okay so um, you hate my plants I will water them myself and it wouldn't have been worse than that <laughs> or okay so but you promised we should we would watch this movie together yeah but I couldn't I wanted to see it so badly and you weren't here and it wouldn't have been worse than that but now instead their relationship ended because uh, my friend saw this person as this stupid liar so if they lie about this what more do they lie about I can't trust this person uh, and this is what I see here as well and here we have the person trying to build bridges and it's their poor soul fighting with what they have here uh, so they have a very very beautiful soul and it tries to build bridges with you and it tries to teach the stupid brain cortex here that this is not really paying off and that they need to build bridges with you and you know build trust and um, make you feel comfortable with them and make you feel like you can lean towards them and you know they need to do good, great actions so you will learn that they are a good person uh, so this is what they're poor soul has to fight with and here we have a little page of cups they are really this little uh, this little person that don't want to be yelled at by their parent or their girlfriend or boyfriend or wife or whatever uh, they want to get as free from this because they are almost skinless so they can't take really the critique either they just want a lot of praise from you but their soul isn't like that and it comes great intuition here um, and we have a page of pentacles, page of cups, the hangman. Uh, so they are a beginner, like really, really a beginner. You can't, you can't uh, have too high expectation on, on this person. But they are evolving. That's the that's the good news. And they have a, a nice soul, a good soul. And here we have a little page of swords as well. Uh, so page of swords. This gives me the feeling that maybe they have had troubles when they grew up. Maybe with people uh, having too strict rules towards them, for example, which made them become this compulsive liar. Uh, they had to find a way to uh, to survive and be able to grow up to a, um, a person without constantly, constantly being yelled at. Uh, and this might be one of the reasons to, to why they are acting like this. Maybe they didn't have really great guidance. You would have been like this if you were born 
in this same body with this uh, same parents and the same family ancestral karma <laughs> and uh, um, so it's just um, it's not bad luck because this person obviously chose to go down in this body but they have had they have gone through uh, certain things being also very vulnerable we need to remember and they went through a lot of uh, uh, troubles and things that will make them grow but it's also it was very traumatizing for them so therefore they're they're a liar um, and here we have a three of wands so three of wands four of wands page of pentacles they really want to be better they want to be a, a better person i can't promise that they will probably lie uh, a million more times for you um, but if they get um, um, you know nicer consequences when they tell the truth uh, instead of being yelled at when they say, well, I actually forgotten to water your plants, you can say, okay, maybe it's too much responsibility for you. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have this much plants uh, in our home when I'm away that much. Uh, so <laughs> that can be how we make things easier for this person. And they might be able to take responsibility for three plants that's close to the kitchen sink so they can easily water it so we can also maybe lower our standards a little bit so the person doesn't have to feel like a screw up all the time and they can be um, become more feel more skilled and you know climb the ladder of feeling more and more responsible uh, because you encourage them to tell the truth and to do the good thing and to not throw you, throw you under the bus or to be the hero a little bit. That, like this time you need to stick up to your parents and you need to tell them that this is our decision. And, and then they do that and, and you hug them the whole way home. Um, not sitting in the police car, I hope. <laughs> so, um, okay, I will see what they want to tell you. <clears throat> I have a lot of insecurities. I could write <laughs> on this like my, my signature because this is what we have seen through this whole reading that this person have a lot of insecurities. They don't love themselves uh, particularly much and uh, uh, they don't feel very skilled. They are trying to learn. They are trying to become better. Uh, but they have a lot of insecurities and if you scare them, they will go back into their uh, survival mood and um, go back to very primordial stage and act like a child. So um, it's not your business to heal this person, but you can have some consideration uh, that you can't really, you can't expect them to be a grown up. I'm ready for commitment. We have seen that too. We have the hero font here and the four of wands, which is both. Um, um, kind of marriage card so even if they don't exactly want to marry you they want to be with you for a very long period of time uh, if you would let them okay and oops okay I do like this I was scared of hurting you um Yes, because they know that they had this reflex of throwing you under the bus. <laughs> that makes sense, but it might make sense for you in some other kind of way that maybe they had kept you out from their life in some way or from some particular area of their life because they didn't want to hurt you. Uh, they might also didn't want to hurt you with the truth. We have the truth here and lies. So... Uh, sometimes people tell white lies also because they don't want to hurt you. So you can maybe forgive them a little bit. I think about you every day. So you're a very important person to this um, person. But they're still a child. You know, it's three um, pages here. Uh, so it doesn't matter if they think of you. It's <laughs> it's uh, They won't be able to act a grown-up anyway. So... I want to find someone new. And yes, we can see this with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles that uh, if they don't get you, they want to find someone new because they, they don't want to live alone and they want to find someone that can uh, love them. Uh, they don't want to stick around waiting for you forever or uh, it's kind of they're waiting for you to approve, uh, approve of them. Our love is deep as the ocean and I need you in my life. So this is only natural, I think. And we see, as a, again, a lot of pages here. 
uh, pages on new beginning, aces on new beginnings. So uh, they feel ready to make a new attempt with with love and relationships. They think like they have uh, gotten a hang of it and that their soul has, you know, talked some sense into them. So they think that now I could be better. So they want to try this out with you or they want to find someone new. Uh, I think it's really up to you if, if it's going to be you two or, or not. Um, it might be that they are a little tad scared of you as well. Um, so, I love someone else. Hmm. I haven't really seen this uh, at all. So, I will take another oracle card. I love someone else. So, for some of you, this will maybe hit home. Um, but I'll see. I haven't seen this other person at all. Love yourself first. Deception. I think uh, that they love you the most, but in the case that they, there is a third party, this third party is a little bit more like in their league, like a person that can uh, see them for who they are and build on their self-esteem and their, uh, you know, basically basically help them to stop lying and to become a better person. Maybe this person also have a little bit lower self-esteem and they don't ask for much. And they are very grateful for just being with this person. Either they lie or not. They just take them for who they are. I'm not saying that this is great, but this might be what this person in this case needs uh, at this uh, stage in in time because if you are much more grown up than them and you are asking things from, from them that they can't provide you with uh, that might be why they are choosing someone else uh, above you and why this card came it was based it was to tell this story but it's also to tell uh, you that this person doesn't love themselves uh, so they can't be really grown up and they can't live up to your expectations because um, this is all they are. I, I don't love myself and I constantly screw up things and, and lie. And, and, th and they do this for the reason that uh, I have told you. So if they sh shows another person, it's not because they don't love you, but it's an easier life with this person. And also they will get more support for they be loved for who they are instead of um, trying to live up to impossible expectations of being a good person when they aren't. <laughs> OK, they have not these skills uh, to be uh, good. OK, but if you um, they would rather choose you, but uh, they would maybe no, now I didn't really ask a question, I feel. But we remember you got very soon and kind of in the reverse. I don't know, maybe I have the whole deck in reversed. Oh, now it's in the right position anyway. So this is the advice for you. Finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your life right now. So this kind of advice you to... Uh, get your business in order, you know, get your life in order, build a great foundation for yourself. Uh, you can, because if you build a great foundation for yourself, you help this other person to build a great foundation for yourself. This is four, so it's a foundation, but it's also like a miser, like a person that collects a lot of things to themselves. And um, I think you have uh, high standards and you have boundaries and you have certain uh, ideas what you want to tolerate uh, and not and uh, you need to go through this and decide uh, what needs to be like where you should have higher standards where you might need to lower your standards to compromise and uh, and these kind of things because even if you want something particular from a person doesn't mean that you will get it and will you be able to live without this person if you uh, if you have these high standards uh, and another thing I'm feeling is kind of single energy that you might need to take care of yourself through this time because if you can't choose this person and they choose someone else that's more in their league um, you need to carry yourself uh, to the next stage of uh, your uh, love life and your life you need to 
love and protect yourself, uh, build on your own happiness, your own life, your own foundation, new apartment, maybe a better job or uh, saving money in the bank, taking really good care of your own health and things like this, seeing to that you're happy, doing happy things that can take you over a period uh, where you won't have uh, a person most on your mind because you let this person go. So you have that option, you have that as an option. Uh, but what I'm seeing here for you uh, when it comes to this person, um, it might be, of course, that they are already married and this is a third party situation and they are a little child, so they can't take um, uh, big uh, leaps of faith at this time. They know what they have, but they don't know where they are going. Uh, but what I'm seeing here for this person is that they do love you. They have the door open for you, but they don't believe that they are worthy of your love. So that's what I'm seeing. And if you decide that they aren't, better leave them alone. Stop thinking of them so they will have a chance to stop thinking of you as well. Because uh, when we think about the other person, they will get like, hey, this person, this person, this person, this person. So this is how you can tell if they're thinking of you as well. <laughs> if you're doing something, you know, run, whatever, you're fully concentrate and then suddenly you get a thought about this person then they probably think about you so the best way if you want to cut cords with someone is to stop thinking about them send the thought down and like put it in um, <laughs> put it in the box send the box down the stream in a canoe or something again and again just seeing it going away like this or you can just send their person's energy back and put up mirrors or maybe like a golden a dome around your aura to reflect back if the person is trying to think of you and do this a hundred times a day until you are able to cut the the cord but for those of you that want to be in this relationship um i i think a good talk is needed and uh what kind of uh, what they can offer you what you can offer them what kind of expectations you can have on them what kind of expectations they can have on you and see if you can uh, find a way to uh, work your two lives together here because they want to have a like a tribe or a family that they can trust and they could be very nice towards that family but they would still be uh, doing stupid childish stuff okay so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you have subscribed you can also become a premium content member if you click the join button or follow the link in the description box I want to thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. And now it's time for a sneak peek of one of my Q&A videos that I post for the members of my channel every month. Uh, these uh, Q&A videos are for all the members, uh, supportive members and up. And uh, I also give out these readings a couple of days ahead without ads for extended members. And I give out mediumship training videos for full members. So the full members get all the lower um, perks. And um, uh, this is how it works. Okay. <laughs> so bye for now. Please look at the Q&A video. It's not anything special. It's just a random clip. So uh, I try to not build up too much expectations. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Uh, time of you. Uh, in the olden times, it wasn't just one day, as today we are celebrating Yule in Sweden on the 24th of December. And most of the rest of the world is celebrating on the 25th. Uh, it also has to do with old traditions, why it was the 21st, 24th for um, uh, here up in the north. It has to do with how we counted time. We actually counted time. Uh, the new day started when the sun set in the evening, so for us the 24th was actually the 25th at that time. So, um, But the real uh, Yule is uh, starting at midwinter solstice. It's the, the time we should really start celebrating. And uh, the time of Yule, it lasted for about a month.